Hello world! My name is Robin Laureen, I'm from Finland, and in this video I'm going to show you how to record drums on the GarageBand software, or GarageBand as some may say, using this here piece of professional equipment, or professional they say, it's the Akai LPD, um, well, it's a MIDI controller with eight velocity sensitive buttons that you can press, and eight little rotary knobs that you can adjust stuff with, and uh, it's a MIDI class compliant device, meaning that you only need a MIDI cable, sorry, a USB cable, plug it in here on one side and in the computer on the other side, and, and it should just work. So let's have a look at GarageBand. Eight plugged in, I'm going to start GarageBand or GarageBand as they say it somewhere, and I'm going to create a new project. It's a piano project, and I'm going to call it Coursera Assignment 2 in a nice mellow 90 beats per minute, doesn't matter what key it's in. And when we have things up, pressing the pressing the pads will create piano sounds. I hope you can hear them, they're not very loud. Uh, but since this is about recording drums, let's select drum kit and a rock kit and uh, the sounds are going to be different from the software instrument. So all kinds of noises. Now unfortunately these sounds aren't exactly where I want them because there's no there's no crash here and no toms. So we need to remap things. And for that I'm going to employ a thing called the Akai LPD8 editor. That one you can get from the web. It's at akaipro.com slash product slash LPD8. Click downloads and you get the editing software here. And you will end up with a program that looks like this. Open up. Uh, here you'll see, uh, I'll select the LPD8, a representation of the controller. And you can see C1, C slash 1, blah, 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 blah. So these are the sounds or the buttons in order. And that's not, not going to make much sense. I'm going to go to the garage band and I'm opening up the virtual keyboard. And let's see if we can hear something here. Right. We got more drum sounds that we need. Now I did some research and uh, homework and figured these ones out. C1 is the kick drum, D1 is a snare, I want to hear. We got the three hi-hats of uh, closed hi-hat at F sharp 1, and the half open, which is at uh, G sharp 1, also the fully open, which is at A sharp 1. I got toms at G1 and uh, A1, and I've got a nice fat crash sound at E2. I finally want to change these two knobs to CC7 and 1. And why is that? Well, um, we've got the standard MIDI control numbers, which says that number 1 is modulation wheel, which is not going to make much sense in uh, a drum setting, but I'll have that for, for future. And number 7 is main volume, so I can adjust that one as well. I'll save it as preset number 1. Bang, it's up in the controller. I can actually have four different presets, and I can toggle these to anything. And then I can, uh, by clicking program on the controller, I can select one of the four presets here. I can also send special CCs and program changes that you can see that are programmed here as well. Now, off the garage band, and hopefully we can hear some drum sounds. Yes, the bass isn't going to be much of a, or the kick drum is not going to be very bassy because this is coming through the microphone from the laptop speakers. I couldn't get the sound routed otherwise. So I'll uh, engage the count in, and here we go. Such beauty, such beauty. 